Hello, this is Lee from 3D Palace, and welcome back to our Lehman Rus Warhammer 40k inspired tank build. Today we are going to be working on the tank treads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, click a box on one auto grid, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tank tread from this spot here and we're going to bring it out a little bit we want it to be roughly equal in size to the opening we have here okay that looks pretty good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just drag this out here so we can work on it okay zoom in you can zoom in by hitting z on the keyboard by the way okay let's go ahead and convert this to an edible polygon and let's get building. So I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make this uh, so we're already convertible. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I want to take these edges here. I'm going to ring it and I'm going to throw a connect on it. That connect is going to get chamfered to about there. Now I'm going to chamfer that edge again to about there. So that's going to give us our faces that we can extract and do whatever we need to do in order to get the uh, connecting chain links here. I'm going to grab this. I want to bring these. Okay. Oh. Probably just be easier to Grab these four corners here. Okay. And we're going to chamfer these to get our basic shape. Good. Now, I'm going to take this edge here and chamfer off so we don't accidentally chamfer something we don't want to. I'm going to ring it and we're going to get it. Grab these, hit ring, grab this, hit ring, make sure we got the bottom. Okay, I'm going to throw a connect on here, and I want to chamfer. About cell is fine. A little bit more, there we go. Okay. Now I want to grab these, all four sets of verts, and I want to make sure we don't have any outstanding vertices here. Okay, now everything should be connected and happy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys, and this guy and I want to extrude them by the same amount and I want it to be an even number here so let's go ahead and give it just 0.5 is fine 0 0.05 okay Point, 0 0.05 okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move it around so that I can auto adjust I can see if that's going to be good. That's not terrible. Go ahead and click continue. Now what I need to do is I'm going to grab this guy and this guy. We want to throw connect here. And then I'm going to grab these. And throw connect here. Okay. Now the reason we're doing this is because we're going to use a new tool today. This one, uh, I think, is um, exclusive to 3D Studio Max. So there are other ways to do this. It's just the quickest way for me to do this. And I'm trying to get this done in a timely manner so you guys aren't wasting your day here. And most of the people that are watching this set are going to be Max users anyway. So let's go ahead and delete this bottom polygon. We're going to select this top polygon. We're going to come over here and click Hinge from Edge. Okay? I'm going to click 
pick hinge. I'm going to click this bottom edge here. And as you can see, it starts to move down. Okay, we're going to go 180 degrees. And we're going to uh, select the number of sides here. And turn it up to, uh, say, 8. We want an even number. It's just my OCD kicking in, but... Okay, now we still have a back-facing polygon here that we're going to need to get rid of. So let's go ahead and just hit delete, and that's going to get rid of that polygon. Now there are some vertices here that are going to need to be welded. They don't weld the vertices automatically. Okay, so grab those two, and you can see we actually have four verts. We're going to click weld. It's going to go down to two. Now we're going to come over here and do the same thing on this side, selecting both of these and deleting them. We're going to do this one at a time. We have to do this one at a time here. Okay, so hinge from edge. Now it still has the old hinge picked. Don't worry about it. So click here. And then click here and it'll go ahead and reset it back to the hinge that we want. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to delete again. We're going to go ahead and re-weld our verts. Why do we have six verts selected? Because I held down, I held down control before selecting, so it still had the old verts. Now we have four verts. We're going to go ahead and weld those together and move on to the next. Okay, so go ahead and click here. This one's going to be really kind of wonky, so we want to be underneath so we can see what we're doing. We're going to pick hinge, okay, and we're going to click this one here, and there we go. Okay, go ahead and delete that back facing polygon again. And then we're going to go ahead and select these two verts here. Two verts. We're going to come over on this side, select those two verts, four verts, weld, and now we're back down to two. Okay, so now it's all one piece again. Okay. Now, we need to put some uh, grip on this thing, so. I think the easiest way for us to do that is going to be just to kind of set them in. So I'm going to go ahead and inset this. Now we could use bevel, but I prefer using inset on this. So let's go ahead and use the inset. And I'm going to turn it down a little bit, click OK. Now we're going to extrude this up a bit. Okay, and then we're going to inset it again. And click OK. And we're going to extrude that up again. About like so is fine. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this all needs to be chamfered, okay? So what we can do is we can hit grow, and grow again, and grow again. And then hit control and hit edge. That's going to give us all of our edges. Okay, and we can just go ahead and throw a quick chamfer on this. Turn it way down, obviously. And it's easier to type in. So we're going to go 003. Okay, and it's going to give us a nice soft edge here. I think we can go do a little bit better. Go 0015. That looks really nice. I like it. Okay. Now we need over here. So we could do another box. Or we could cut in some edges, and I think that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead, click our vert selection tool, and I'm going to hit cut. Okay. Now I always try to anchor these the best I can. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start from here, and I'm just going to tie it down to here. Okay. And then. I'm going to go from here and bring it down to here. Okay. No, nope, that's not the one I wanted. Let's go ahead and do it to here. Okay. Now what we can do to get the shape that we want is go ahead and we need to make sure that we right click out of cut. I'm going to select this edge here, this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here. And we're going to go ahead and chamfer. OK. 
Okay. Turn it way up. Okay, this is not going to work. Go ahead and cancel. It's not working because what it's doing is it's taking this corner here, so we need to do something about that. So if I were to come over here and cut in, say, a line from here to here, okay, and then another line from here to here, From here to here. Okay, that's going to cut that line up just enough for us to get the chamfer that we're looking for without ruining our edges. Okay? go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these faces here and I want to inset but not that much. Just a little bit. Okay. And we can actually do it by polygon. Holly. All right. And click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to extrude these so that they're roughly equal in height. We can just use the move tool here. They're roughly equal in height. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and this one and throw an inset on here okay we're going to go ahead and extrude throw another inset click OK and extrude that up okay and we're going to do the same thing back here with our inset Click OK, extrude, click OK, inset, click OK, extrude, click OK. That's going to give us some nice traction, okay? So with those two, we're going to grab these two. We're going to go ahead and grow, 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 edges chamfer and we're going to change this number to 0, 0, 0015 okay good click OK and we're going to grab faces again this top face we're going to grow and we're going to go ahead and chamfer this to that same 115 or uh, 0015. <laughs> okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back into poly mode. And I'm going to grab these outside polygons. Okay, we're moving things. We don't want to move things. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Now again, there are easier ways to do this. Just the way I do the I do things. Now let's go ahead and uh, Control hit border. Now if you hit Control Alt, you can deselect lines you don't want to use, like this one. We don't want that one. We don't want this one. Okay, but. One thing that we should probably do is hold off on that for a second, but it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and grab this line and this line. Okay, so just you can grab the top ones, I think. Should work just fine. And those, and we're going to hit loop. Okay, now again, we got some loops that we don't need. 
And if you don't deselect them, it's going to really screw with your geometry later. So, okay. Oop. Forgot to deselect things. Okay. So let's just go ahead and click that off. Let's go ahead and select these again. Okay. Oop. Good. Not so good. Control Z if you make a mistake. Okay. Let's go ahead and select those now. And I'm going to go ahead and select these. And yes, I know we need to deselect some edges. I'm not worried about it right this second. Okay, so now we have everything we want selected. So now we have to deselect some things here. So let's go ahead and do that. Control, Alt, and then click on the edges we don't need. Like this one. Make sure we didn't select anything on the bottom here. So we got to deselect things on the bottom too. Control Alt and click. Oop, we want that one, don't want this one. Don't want this one. Don't want this one. So we already got some foobar going on. Okay, just deselect these lines here. Believe it or not, this is a little quicker than trying to select all the lines you want as opposed to the ones you don't. Okay, that looks good. Make sure everything is selected the way we want it. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and throw a chamfer on here. And we will use the same chamfer that we used earlier, 1.5. Now, oh, come on. 1.5. Zero, zero, 1. 5. Okay, now let's check to make sure that we don't have any broken vertices or anything. We do have some weird artifacting going on here, so let's check the verts and see why. I think it's just the way the shadows are falling. Okay, should be okay. All right, now we have one more thing that we really need to do. And that is add in a bolt that's going to hold everything together. So let's go ahead and grab cylinder. We're going to auto grid from here. We're going to make it about yay big. Okay, we're going to make it like so. I want to turn the height segments down to one. We're going to leave it at 18 sides. It's going to add quite a bit to our polygon count. So we actually we can turn it down probably about 12 okay and I'm gonna move it over here so that it's sticking out about like so actually okay I'm gonna go to edit and we're gonna boost that height up all the way so that's sticking out about equal on the other side here okay click on our tank tread we're gonna rename the tank tread to tread 001 that's important make sure you do that it's important to the next step and we're going to go ahead and attach our cylinder okay now we got our tank tread and I'm going to call it here in the next part we're going to go ahead and make the tread on uh, follow our guide here and set up a dummy object and uh, use some scripting in order to actually make our tread. So I will see you guys in the next part. Until then, bye bye.